cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS, EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good afternoon to everyone, to all the learners that we have here. So this afternoon, we will be again together for one episode, for one session, for one tutorial for English 7. So we are very happy because we will be having another tutor with us. So but before that, let me first greet everybody. So again, we are going to introduce. So here are the slides now. So we will be here together. I am Tutor Grace, and with me is the ever dashing and ever dedicated tutor <laughs> for an another tutor for English 7. So we have Tutor Arnell. So we are both from SDO Pasig and we will be your guide every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. Hi, Tutor Arnell. Hello, Tutor Grace, and also to so, our students. <laughs> yeah, so they're very much excited for you because you missed us last week. And yeah. I know that, <laughs> yes, I know that's a, a very important thing that you have done. But at least what matters is you're here now and you're very prepared. You're very excited to teach our grade seven learners. By the way, we also have a lot of learners joining us from other grade levels like grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10. So we're going to have that. And before we proceed, let me just greet everybody from Mangahan High School, from Ingud Ramona Integrated School. That's from Angadanan West District. That's as far as Isabella, right? And wow. we also have some students from Caloocan City, Liano High School, Caloocan City. So we are being watched from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So Mindanao, yeah. that makes, yeah. So it also brings us the a fact, right, that we can help a lot of people, a lot of learners, especially this time that we are having our pandemic education. So before we have it, let's also have our topic for this week. That would be identifying features of viewed text. So we are now in quarter one, week two, this is still English 7. And of course, we would like to thank our module reference for this afternoon. That would be the Central Office of Department of Education for their Central Office Developed Module 2. So now we will be having Tutor Arnell have the floor so he can be able to teach everybody. So good luck, <laughs> Tutor Arnell. And I'm very excited to see how you teach them all. So I know. You can do well with this, and I know you can teach a lot of, they'll be learning a lot from you. So, good afternoon, Tutor Arnell, and take it away. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Tutor Drazel. Um, I'm really excited, and just like what you said, I'm really sorry for not being here last time for some reason. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. At least you're here now. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, well, I'm excited to uh, uh, have the lesson with our students from all over the Philippines, and I'm actually thinking if there would be some students from other countries too. <laughs> <laughs> that is not possible. I mean, that is possible, right? Because we are in Facebook, and of course, they can they can watch us even from other parts of the world. That's right, Tutor Drazel. Okay, so without further ado, students, teachers, and all of our viewers from different parts of the country, let us have the objectives of our lesson today. So you're all expected that at the end of the session, you will be able to demonstrate understanding by determining the genre of various viewed texts such as movie clip, trailer, news flash, internet-based program, and documentary video. So another is you've got the right learnings gained from the session. So I remember from a video showed earlier that you have to prepare your pen and notebook all right for you to write down everything that you learned from this session and express the appreciation of lesson gained in our real life situations. So, of course, yes, Tutor Drazel, we have the yes. assignment from um, the past. Actually, <laughs> I am very excited to announce this because uh, the, the very first time that we had this was last week. So, we asked them to do their assignment. So, now I promised our learners last week that we're going to have a featured assignment for week one. We mm. chose two. Yes, so that is one digitally made and one traditionally made. And they're, of course, going to get a badge. Okay, so the first one for our traditionally made was given, was submitted by Jewel Rizardo from grade 7 Avalon of Mangalhan High School. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jewel. <laughs> and we also have another one that is digitally made, and this was from Desiree Ann Palisok. Now, she is in grade 10, but she is mm. joining us every week because she wants to review past That's, lessons in English. That is a very, very good thing yeah, to do. it's really so, interesting. Yeah, so congratulations once again to Jewel and Desiree Ann. Both are from Mangahan High School, and you will wow. be receiving an amazing, amazing badge. badge. <laughs> yes, that's for being one or two featured assignment for week one. So this week, we will once again be choosing two featured assignments that will be featured next week. Congratulations! Congratulations to Jewel and Desiree. All right, so we do have pictures here. I guess all of these emojis are Tudor Drazel. <laughs> all right, so activating prior knowledge. So we do see in the first picture Tudor Drazel on TV and uh, in a in a in a what's this one in a theatrical poster in a in a theater and then news flash. So I just wanted to ask all of our audience here right now if you were able to experience watching TV or probably watch a movie. Uh, before the pandemic, of course, and then uh, have you ever experienced watching news? So for those who experience watching this, um, can you just send us a, a what's that one? Uh, a happy, a happy, a, a happy yes, react. A happy react, yes. <laughs> Let's see from so, our audience. Mm -hmm. Yes, all they need to do is just type in their happy reacts on the comment section so we will be able to find that out. Yes. So they're still busy typing. <laughs> All right. Do you love watching movies, Tudor Drazel? <laughs> yes, of course. I love watching. And I really miss that now because we don't have movies anymore. But I, right. am, I am very much looking forward to a lot of movies when this pandemic ends. So we now have mm. a happy face here from Daphne um, Marie. Mm. Okay, so that means she was able to watch TV, watch movie, and watch uh, news. So another from Danette Gans... Oh, what's this one? Gansatao. What? Yes, Danette Gansatao. Yes. And we have a lot now here from Jewel, from Arvik. Kian mm. is also saying yes. And then we have Cedric um, and Ezel. They are all having or they are all sending happy faces. So that means, Sir Arnel, it's a yes for our viewers. Mm, yes. 
All right, so I think these things that we are going to show you on the slides were the ones discussed to us by Tudor Drazel in the past discussion. So let's talk about analogy. So analogy, uh, as we learned it, compares two things that are mostly different from each other, but have some traits in common. So types of analogies include part to whole, cause and effect, synonym, antonym, descriptive, person to situation, geography, measurement, and time. So analogies are important in comparing things and can be used in our daily lives. Very good. So they'll be using this, of course, in our next activity. Okay. Oh. So let's have our first activity, Sir Arnel. Yes, so our first activity is directions. I know that you will be engaging with this one, students. Use your knowledge in analogies by pairing the words or by pairing the following words in the next slide. So we do have column A with words movie, news flash, music video, internet-based documentary, eat the live sessions. And for column B, we have 24 horas, YouTube, Deped EdTech Unit Facebook page, Netflix, and Documentary Heaven. So, uh, Tudor Drazel, what are they going to do with this one? Yeah, so at, uh, all they need to do is just connect a pair, column A with column B. For example, movie. Where will you be watching movie? You'll you have to look at that up from letter B. So, can we now have an answer for number one? What yes. do you think is the answer for number one? Just give the answer. I mean, the number and then put the letter of your choice. Can you type yes. in your answers now for number one? Let me see. Okay, letter while we are A, waiting. So B. let me just greet our our topics. Uh, I mean, our viewers here. We have Tutor May, the program head of English, of course. Yes. So, and now we have our our viewers our answers here so we have answers and they are saying it's a d, d. others are saying it's a b so let us check what is the correct answer mm. okay right. so <laughs> what's the answer tutor now it's letter d netflix my favorite okay. very good <laughs> yes we are netflix addicts right next let's have number two what's number two sir now news flash so what do you think okay. is the answer what number is the answer for number two okay let me see are uh, there are still some people answering number one so mm. okay we now have one answer here from jewel it's an a trisha is also saying it's an a and mm. most of them are saying it's an a okay, yeah so let us try to find that out is it letter a let us check. All right, great. All right. It's letter A, 24 horas. <laughs> Very good. Let's now have number three. What is your answer for number three? Music video. Mm. Let us see. Okay, so, so happy have... viewing to Andrea, to John Louis, to Shekinah, and Chris Chanel, and Mikey, and Danet. So Danet is answering it's a B. <laughs> is it a B? Okay, and so with your niece and Trisha, it's a B. So let us check if it's a letter B. Correct. That is letter wow. B. You too. Okay, let's have number four, Tutor Arnel. Internet-based documentary. What do you think is the answer? So you get it from column B. You may start picking the answer now. So they're still okay, sending some, their answers. Yes. <laughs> Okay, some are already answering uh, number four. Mm, so we okay. got Rizal, Yuniz. Do they have the same answers? Um, others are giving an advanced answer to their Drazel, but anyway, it's okay. <laughs> yes, because most of it. You know, mm -hmm. So let's have number four. Okay, number four is letter E. That's documentary heaven. It's, okay, yeah, it's so documentary heaven. Yeah, so let's now have the last item, Itulai sessions. Where are you watching Itulai sessions? Mm. We just have one remaining answer here, so that wouldn't be very difficult for you. 
So the correct answer for number five is, letter C, that would be the DepEd EdTech Unit Facebook page. So I know Yay. very well you are following that page because you're always following Itulai. That's very nice of you and we're very thankful for that. So let us continue now, Tutor Arnel. All right, so let's have our lesson. So, of course, we're going to talk about today's genre. All right, so what is genre? Genre means a type of art, literature, or music characterized by specific form, content, and style. Literature, for example, has genres class. So, for example, poetry, drama, prose, nonfiction, and media. So let's know more about the examples given earlier. So for poetry, poetry is a form of text that follows a meter and rhythm with each line and syllable. On the other hand, prose is written in complete sentences and organized in paragraphs. For drama, all right, it's performed in front of an audience. Nonfiction. It's creative like personal essay or factual, like scientific paper, which is based on truth. And of course, media. Media is technology for mass distribution of messages to larger audiences. So uh, let's see what we have here. So we do have viewing genre as well. So class, when we say viewing genre, it's another type of genre under media, which is in a form of visual. So when we say visual class, we are using our eyes to perceive it, meaning something that is seen on viewed, especially that have found in that is found or that that of found in television screen or in an internet based program, just like what we are doing right now. So there are different types of it. So we do have animation. So when we're talking about animation, so these are the manipulated images. So we also call it cartoons, all right? And they are usually using technology to do that. So that's one of uh, examples of it. Now, when we're talking about trailers, all right? Class, it's an excerpt. When we say excerpt, it's a clip of a movie or program which purpose is to promote or to advertise. So you will be watching that if you will see a trailer. Now, education or educational, it's a viewing material meant for sharing knowledge or educating, just like Itolai session. So uh, we are educating or giving you information about a topic. Variety shows class, its purpose is to entertain or make people laugh, all right, and to share fun to the audience. So one example of it is Showtime, if you're watching that. News Flash, of course, it's a broadcast media which serves the audience important information about the happenings in the country. So it's like TV Patrol, CNN, ABC News, etc. And sitcom, also known as Situation Comedy. So it's actually a television series that involves funny characters. So I researched on this and I found Tudor Drazel that examples of it are like Pepito Manalote, if they're watching that, or Bubble Gang. That's an example of those are examples yes, of Yes, yes. Those are examples <laughs> of sitcom. Yes. And then, of course, soap. Is this what we are using when we're taking a bath? Of course not. <laughs> All right, so when we're talking about soap, it's also known as salt soap opera. So it's typically melodramatic or uh, containing uh, strong emotions or heavy dramatic situations about the stories of different people in the particular show or soap opera. Yeah, so definitely it cannot be found on your bathroom. So yes. don't forget that. <laughs> That's correct. And of course, we do have documentary. So this kind of show is providing us a factual and meaning real records of a report about an interesting topic. And one of it is KJMS or Kapuso Mo Jessica So. That's an example of that. So infomercial, it's a combination of information and commercial. So if a commercial is showing us some information, then definitely we can classify that as an infomercial. And Lastly, we do have movie or video clip, of course, uh, when we are watching it, like in Netflix, those are examples of it. All right. Okay, so let's check it out. If you were able to uh, get what we discussed earlier, so you've got to be reacting with the thumbs up if the material can be viewed or thumbs down if not. All right, so let's see, Tudor Drazel, if our students would be able to get that. Oh, what is that? All right, can that be viewed or not? 
right? Yes. All right. So students, start sending your answers now. All you need to do is just type in a react for a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So again, right. thumbs up if it's viewed. Okay, okay we now so have we an have... answer here from Alexandra and Eunice and Trisha. And they're saying it's a thumbs up. Are they correct, mm. Tutor Arnell? Let's see if they're correct. Oh, no, it's a thumbs <laughs> down. Okay. Oh, so, of course, you can read. You can read that, but you cannot watch it, right? So, all yes. you need to do is just read. So, it's not viewed. It's a reading material, not a viewing material. So, be careful yes. with that. That's right. Let's have the next one. All right. Let's check it out. Web application. All right. So, students, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Okay, okay, they so are here's... already answering. We now have answers from Crisulo, from Mikey, from Cedric, Jeric also, and Justin and Brianne. So they're answering. Some are answering it's a thumbs up. Others are saying it's a thumbs down. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the answer, Tutor Arnell? All right. Okay. So let's see the answer. All right. It's thumbs up. Yes, it's a <laughs> thumbs up. Very good. Let's have the next one. What about uh, that? It's a musical instrument. So definitely it would play music, right? So mm. let us see if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay, now Kian, Kian Andre is saying it's a thumbs down. And so with vocal and uh, Brianne. And Rain is saying it's a thumbs up. And so with Jasmine. So let us see what is the correct answer. All it's right. it's also thumbs. a thumbs down, okay? It's yeah. a thumbs down because it's a hearing or a listening material. Next. Mm. Okay. Breaking news. What? Yes, <laughs> what would be your answer? A thumbs up or a thumbs down? We now have answers from Krishanel and from Earl Josh and Raymond also and Jewel and Sania. Okay, let us see if their answer is correct. Yes. It wow. is a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. Good Very job. good, learners. <laughs> and the last one. Now, what is that? Mm. It's, it's entitled The Last Song. Okay. Um, Ivy has sent her answer. And so with Princess and Daphne also. And they're saying it's a thumbs up. So with Nino and Stephanie, so let us check. Let's see their Very answers. Very good. The correct wow. answer is a thumbs up. Thumbs Very up. good. Now, Tutor Arnel, let us see if they really understood. Let us check their scores. So if you got a five, that means you got a perfect score for testing one's knowledge. Please react with a heart. Let mm. us see if... The comment section will be flooded by a lot of hearts and it would seem like it's Valentine's Day. So again, <laughs> if you got a five, a perfect score for our activity, please react with a heart. Wow, Brian reacted three hearts to the Yes, Trazel. that's three <laughs> hearts for I love you. That's good. And, and then we also have... Angelicus. Yes, <laughs> Sanchez Angelicus has a lot of hearts. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Yes. And so with and Jewel <laughs> and Mark Platon, okay, thank you very much for all your hearts. That only proves that you really understood the lesson. So we can now move to the next one, Tutor Arnel. All right. That's right, Tutor Drazel. So let's evaluate one's knowledge. Let's check it out. So we have another activity for you. So the direction is identify the genre of the following. So let's see the first one. What do you think is the genre of this one in the picture? Nemo with a greening shark. <laughs> yes. You know, our tutor, I'm very afraid of uh, sharks, of course. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes. I don't really like swimming in beaches because of the shark. Okay. So let us see now their answer. 
Okay, so Dylan is saying it's an animation. Mm. Or Ashley is saying it's a cartoon or an animation. That's the same. So Kian is saying it's an animation too. Okay, let us check. Let's Actually, check there are out. two answers for this one. And others are saying it's a movie. And others are saying cartoons, animation. Others are saying it's uh, a movie. So let us check. Let us have the answer now. It's a movie, a but, movie. but mm -hmm. listen, animation is also correct. So because yes. Finding Nemo is an animated movie. So for those That's people correct. who answered animation, you are correct. For those people who answered movie, you are also correct. Good job. Yay. Congratulations. Next, let's have number two. All right, number two. Oh, I know this character. <laughs> Who wouldn't have known her? him, I mean? Yes. Okay, so we now have answers here on our comment section. And unanimously, they have one answer. So let us check if their answer is correct. Wow. Okay, good job. It's an animation. Animation. Okay, that's very good. Mickey, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yes, that's Mickey Mouse from Disney. So let's have the third one. <laughs> of course this is not a promotion it's yes. just an example <laughs> we're not being paid so that's, right. that's just yes we're just using it as an example so let's have number three so please type in your um the number of course before you write your answer okay danet is saying it's a tv show mm -hmm. and Dylan is saying it's a variety show. Mm -hmm. So who is correct? Is it Danet or is it Dylan? Yes. Okay, right. the correct answer is variety, variety show. show. Very good, Shekaina and Christoph, you got it correctly. Good job. Number four. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> okay. I know uh, a lot of Filipinos are waiting always for this. And a lot uh, of Filipinos are also waiting for it to be through. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there are a lot of shows that are existing because because many are still viewing them, right? Right. Even additional or even more characters are being yes, added. Yes, <laughs> true. Making it longer. <laughs> yes, that's true. So let us now have the answers. Um, according to Sebastian, it's a uh, uh, according to Sebastian, it's an, a TV show, and then according to Christianel, it's a trailer. It's an action TV show for some. Okay, let us check. Okay, so let us check. The correct answer is, Tutor yes. Arnel, what's the correct answer? All right, it's a soap opera or a serial drama, okay. Yes, because uh, Ang Provinciano, you are watching it by series, right? It's by yes. series, so it's a soap opera. And the last one, what's for hmm. number five? <laughs> what is that? What type or what genre does this have? Okay, that's number five. Okay, and there are still some people answering number four. Okay, they are still having soap operas in or here in our comment section. So let us now have number five. Yes, Ryan, you are correct. FPJ's Ang Provinciano is an example of soap <laughs> opera. For Sabrina, it's an education or an educational program. This is with Sean Ryan, Brian also in Christianel, Vocal and John Louis, Ashley also. So let us check. Very good. It's exactly. education educational or an program. educational program. Now, can you now check, Tutor Arnel, how many got a five? All right. So students, uh, for those who got five or perfect answers, they will be sending heart as well, Tutor Drazel. Yes, okay, yes. so you may send heart react if you were able to get a perfect score to our chat box. So they're still sending <laughs> answers yes, for number Yes, let five. us wait for those uh, heart. Yes, now we now have one heart here from Daphne. Wow, congratulations, congratulations, Daphne. Daphne. 
And Angelicus is again sending a lot of hearts. It's really a Valentine's <laughs> Day for Angelicus. Congratulations, right. Angelicus. And Tyron well, we is a, here also with a lot of hearts. Congratulations. Yeah, we right, have a, a lot of heart hearts from now. Alexandra. <laughs> yes. But still, it's a heart. So it means a perfect score. Congratulations, right. everyone. Congratulations. All right, so we're so happy that you were able to uh, engage with our activities very well. So uh, for our generalization, uh, Tudor Drazel, do I have to read this one? Yes, please. Okay, so as viewers, we need not only to be aware of the material we view on screen, but also to be discreet and be careful whether or not these materials provide relevant and reliable information to us. So I definitely agree to this. So not all, remember this, uh, students, not all of the programs on media platforms are suited to students like you, all right? So we must be responsible viewers and digitally responsible users too. So when watching programs on TV, use the MTRCB ratings as your guide for viewers' guidelines and restrictions. So we do have G or general <laughs> viewer, PG or parental guidance, and SPG for, uh, what's that again? SPG is it's, for strong. I think it's strong parental guidance. Right. So, so they really be, have mm -hmm. to be aware of that. Right. So when you see that, you'd be, uh, you'd be uh, deciding whether you watch it or not. So yay, let's summarize our learning. So for genre, of course, don't forget the students that it means a type of art, literature or music characterized by specific form of content and style. And for viewing genre, it's another type of genre under media, which is in form of visual. Thank you for that, Tutor Arnel. Now, let me just explain our assignment for this week. So you will see there a graphic uh, organizer, right? It's in an umbrella form. So again, mm -hmm. our assignment is in an art form. So this will be the directions. Let me just explain that on this umbrella, you see four boxes. So you are going to list down on, this, on that boxes, the learnings or activities that you have enjoyed most in our session. So you have there four. You can have more than four, of course. It depends on how many learnings you gain or how many activities you enjoyed. And then so you write it down on that four boxes. And then at the bottom of those boxes, we have lines. And that is where you will be explaining how did it help mm -hmm. you understand and appreciate the lesson. So again, this would be our assignment for your, uh, for that will be for next week. So those who will be submitting their assignment, we are going to wait for you in the page, the Facebook page of Tutor Drace. And of course, Tutor Arnell's Facebook, uh, Facebook account is Arnell Camba. So you see that handsome guy there. Okay. <laughs> so all you need to do is just send him a message, send your assignments to him, and we will be able to evaluate. That's Which right. of those who submitted their assignments will be featured next week? Now, again, I'm I am excited. very much excited. <laughs> yes. So I know they're very creative and they'll be doing a lot of things, but they're always doing a lot of great things for e to lie And that is really something that fascinates me a lot. Yeah. And also do. for evaluation. So since we would like to improve ourselves, of course, we need your help on this matter. We need to hear your evaluation. We need to hear your voice. So all you need to do is just scan. Scan it there, the QR code. If you have a scanner or if you don't have, you may take a picture and then you may scan it later. So scan the QR code and the evaluation form will go to your screen. So evaluate the session honestly. Read, please read carefully. Do not just choose answers. Make mm -hmm. sure that it's an honest evaluation because definitely those evaluations are what we read when we That's meet. Right. And yes, we consider those evaluations so that when we meet again in the next session, we will be better tutors and we right. will be giving you a better session. So you will learn more. That is all for you. Okay. <laughs> so tutor and now, can you please invite them? 
All right, so students all over the country, we would like to invite you again. So this is your tutor, Arnel, from SDO Pass. Again, of course, Tutor Drazel with you every Tuesday. Don't forget that. So you just have to put it in the calendar. We will be seeing each other again Tuesday, every Tuesday at 1.40 to 2.20. You can actually watch it via Facebook Live or in uh, uh, DepEd EdTech Unit, uh, DepEd TV YouTube channel. Yes. So we will be meeting them again next week. Right. And also, please, please watch the other English Junior High School tutors. You'll also learn from them. So there we have it. In the middle, we have our program head, Mame Sevilla, and the rest of the team. We are all excited to welcome you in our sessions. And definitely, it's a promise that you will learn a lot. Okay. Right. So <laughs> up next, up next, we have Tutor Rubilin and Tutor jo Jovet for English 8. We hope, Tutor Arnel and I, we hope that you learned a lot. Do you have yes. some final words, Tutor Arnel? Um, well, I am really out of words for this experience. Thank you so much for all of you students for attending and participating actively in our session this afternoon. Yes, and thank you very much to Tutor Arnel for staying with us. And of course, thank you to all the viewers, the parents, the teachers, and most especially to our students. Uh, we hope that you learned a lot today. And stay safe. God bless and bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>